how to look up food content for free. So as somebody who is interested in nutrition, I'm always looking for sources where we can go and look at food content for free. And I frequently run into obstacles until I found this amazing website that gives you all the information that you need. So we're frequently looking for things like fats, proteins, the carbs in the things that we have purchased, uh, the things that we want to eat. What, are the, what is the vitamin content? What are the minerals that are found? And frequently when I've gone to websites, they've either asked me to subscribe to expensive apps where I don't want to pay a monthly fee to get the food nutrition values that I want. Other web searches bring up very limited information or incomplete information. And that's something that I don't want to look at either. Or you go to these phony websites where all they want to do is push ads and have random advertisements for viruses that have infected your computer. So precious time is wasted on futile sources of finding this information. I found a one-stop source, which is a food database that has been created by the United States Department of Agriculture. It's part of their agriculture research service, and they have analyzed hundreds of thousands of foods and put that on a database that anyone can search for. It's called the, it's called the Food Data Central Database. And what I want to do is walk you through the database so that you can get an idea of the types of data that are found there. And hopefully that is useful to you. So how do we start? Well, first we go to the database and I have put the link on this slide and I will also put a link for you down below. So you can click on that link that will take you to the Food Data Central database. So let's go there. So we're going to start with the Food Central database. Once you have navigated over to this link, fdc.nal.usda.gov, we can see that we are in Food Central. And here, it's very simple. We can type in the food that we're looking for and click on search. So let's look for white bread. So I'm going to type in white bread and click on search. So now this is going to go through its database and find white bread. Essentially, there are five different categories, foundation foods, legacy foods, survey foods, branded foods, and experimental foods. To keep it simple, let's just concentrate on two of these categories. One is foundation food and one is branded food. For the most part, you will be looking at these two items. So anything to keep it simple that qualifies as a foundation food are things like bread, rice, basic generic categories. I would come and look under foundation food. And then our branded foods obviously are any brands, supermarket brands, and, and so forth that we want to look at. So if we look at white bread commercially prepared, I click on that and that's going to tell me what was the item that I looked for. One of the things you want to do is look at the portion. You might not be eating 100 grams of the item that you selected. So best is to click on it and it'll give you an option. So this is a much more measurable uh, slide item that we can look at. So it's one slice, about 28 grams. And then we can see that it gives me about 72 calories. I scroll further down. I'm always looking for carbohydrates. So I have about 13.4 grams of carbohydrates. Um, I have a little bit of sugar here. If there's specific minerals that I'm looking for, I can see them here as well as any uh, vitamins and fats that, that can be found. So SFA is the saturated fatty acids. 
and you can also see the MUFA and these are monosaturated fatty acids. So as you can see that this this amazing database that the US Department of Agriculture gives us. So let's go back to the home for one second and um, look, let's look at the home screen. I will be creating a video for some of the more advanced options here, such as downloading data, creating an API, uh, and so you can then be able to mesh this into your website. I'm just going to click on search without any search criteria so that you can see the extent of this database. So under foundation foods, we have 184 basic foundation foods. We're going to skip legacy foods and survey foods for now. And we have almost 400,000 branded foods. So let's go scroll down and look at a foundation food. So one of the things that um, I question sometimes is, should I, buy, should I be eating bananas? So usually I buy my bananas that are ripe and slightly ripe. I usually don't buy overripe bananas. So let's click on my ripe and slightly ripe bananas, which I eat raw. I don't know how much 100 grams of a banana is, so I'm going to change that to one gram. So one banana is a little more than 100 grams. I now see that I can get 113 calories from there. My carbohydrates, so I'm getting almost 25, 26 grams of carbohydrates. I'm getting some fiber. I'm getting a lot of sugar, 18 grams of sugar. So bananas doesn't look like it's that great for me to be eating too often. However, I am getting a good amount of magnesium, uh, potassium, phosphorus, I'm getting some vitamins and that does not look like there's any uh, fat in here because we can see the total lipid fat is just 0 0.33 grams. So let's go back to our, our uh, list and let's look under branded foods. So one of the nice things you can do here is you can search by an ingredient or you can search by the brand. And up down here, we have the market country. So we have United States and New Zealand. That's interesting that they have New Zealand here. Um, I'm in the United States, so I'm just going to unselect New Zealand. Um, I think for the most part by selecting United States and looking at some basic foods, you will be able to find the food that you're looking for even though you may not necessarily live in, in the United States. So let's go back to my home and I'm going to now search for white bread again and this time after I find my white bread I'm going to look under branded foods and I'm going to look at the local supermarket where I shop. So I'm going to look for Publix and search. And now it's going to give me my white bread, either old fashioned white bread or old fashioned enriched white bread. And then there's a lot of different other choices as well, which come under the white bread umbrella. So when I looked at my package of white bread that I had purchased, it was old fashioned enriched white bread. So I can select that. And again, I don't know what 100 grams of a white bread is. So I click on this and I go 26 grams, which is one serving size, which would be one slice of bread. And again, I see here my carbs, I'm getting 14, 13 grams of carbs, a little bit of iron and zero cholesterol. So that gives me something specific to the brand of white bread that I have selected. So as you can see, there are a lot of different items that you can search on because if I go back and I see that there's a turkey sandwich snack pack that also I could have purchased from my supermarket and I look at uh, the serving size and my turkey sandwich snack pack which has a 
ton of different ingredients. Um, honestly, folks, if you see so many ingredients in the box, do not buy it, run away. This is not something that you should be eating. Um, just the amount of ingredients um, scares the heck out of me. What on earth is a dough conditioner? So when you see these things um, run. So this is another reason why it is great to have access to this database because you can search for, for some for these kind of items. So a uh, deli chicken, chicken prosciutto tortellini also has a lot of different ingredients that I may or may not be comfortable with. But you can clearly see based on the portion size um, how many calories, how much protein you're getting, how much fat you're getting. Um, you're getting a huge amount of carbs in here. So as you can see, the Food Central database can be very helpful in finding the, the right kind of food that you want to eat. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below as we continue to give you and offer more and more informative programs.